On Monday evening, the monarch urged world leaders to protect the planet for our children and our children's children in a speech delivered remotely. The 95-year-old was due to address the conference in person, but cancelled following advice from doctors. Still, her words were keenly observed by royal fans and climate change activists alike. Despite shining a light on the important issue, failing to mention the Duke of Sussex while lavishing praise on his older brother and father will not go unnoticed, body language expert Judy James claims. Speaking to Express.co.uk, the analyst said, This is an immensely personal and touching speech from the Queen who uses it to create a wonderfully loyal and loving tribute to her late husband Philip. The Queen speaks not just as a royal leader but as a proud widow, mother and grandmother. Her words are stunningly emotional as she speaks of my dear late husband, quoting a speech he made on the urgency of climate change back in 1969. Her pride also spills over as she refers to the way that the leading role my husband played lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William. The glaring omission of Harry's name on this list will probably be discussed but the Queen seems emphatic about the chain of eldest to eldest being remarkable. She even adds I could not be more proud of them to make this one of the most emotional public messages ever from the Queen. She discusses her own experience of meeting many of the world's greatest leaders and in a flattering nudge to the current leaders watching her speech. She describes how she understands a little about what made them special describing it as statesmanship before urging her audience to achieve true statesmanship in a very clever appeal that never lectures or hectors, but which gently flatters them into taking the right action on climate change.